Today it's been officially six months that I've been living in Los Angeles and my place is still a work in progress. I just thought it would be cool for me to bring you along this journey of me trying to make my place a home and yeah I just thought it would be cool because I have so many like ideas of what I want to do with my space and how I envision my space to feel like because home is such Home is such an important place for me. It's my place of rest, it's my place of solace. It's just like really my safe space. I want it to feel like that, but I also want it to capture this moment of my life and the stage of my life right now. So yeah, I have like a lot of different ideas. And um, in today's video, I want to share with you the initial stages of my home office because I do work from home. And then I also want to share with you <laughs> some of the new plants that I've uh, that I've got that I bought for my space. So, anyways, I'll stop there. And I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, yeah my office and I want to put some shelving up in on this wall just because right now I just have a lot of boxes on the floor and I don't want to have boxes on the floor anymore. I bought garage storage shelves because they're like more industrial looking and I'm gonna put all my stuff I'm gonna put my printer everything on the shelving plants make it look cute. I bought paint because I saw a TikTok of some girl a girl who bought the same exact shelving and she painted it and I want to paint it so these are the two color samples that I got and this is called red bliss and this is called classic red and I really like the red bliss but it's kind of showing up more pink and I really just want a classic red and I tap dabbed a little bit on top of the container just to see how it looks and you know what honestly I'm not really feeling it but it's not fully dried yet so I'm just gonna wait but in the meantime while it's drying I'm gonna um, set up my shelves so I finished painting the shelves finished constructing the shelves finished painting the shelves and I am going to move the shelves over here. So they look like garage shelves and that's kind of the look I'm going for. I really want my office to be kind of industrial looking, like industrial modern because the rest of the apartment is kind of traditional. Plus the more modern I can make this place look, the less distractions I feel like I'll have when I'm working. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Alright, so another reason why I am moving my bookshelves to this wall is because I only have two outlets in my office and they're against that wall and this wall and I have a printer, I have a sit-stand desk that runs on electricity or that needs to be plugged in. I can figure out what I will do with this wall. Maybe I might put some artwork, I don't know. why I got these shelves, this printer. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so my desk is here and I think my goal is to push my desk over here so it's that way, it's in the corner. Um, let's see, let's give it a try. I moved my desk to this corner. I'm not really feeling it. Um, 
but let me give it a try first. I wanna look out into the windows and just see like how nice the day is. And with it facing this wall, it's just not, it's not a vibe for me. So like there's a desk and then there's the bookshelves. It just feels so far away from each other. And yeah, it's just not giving anything really. It's just not giving. <laughs> so I'm gonna play around with different ways of laying out the office. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna just sleep on it and figure out what exactly I wanna do because I don't really wanna overthink it. So I'm just gonna step away, come back tomorrow while I'm working, see how I utilize the space and come back and figure it out. Alright, so this is the first plant that I got. I got this about three days ago. And it's a pothos. And yeah, she's just amazing. It's so full. Like this is the first time I've ever seen a plant this. I mean, I've seen a pothos this full before, but yeah. So I'm going to plant this one outside. So it's a vibe. And then I also got this plant, which is a never never plant, a Caladia. And I just, I had this plant when I lived in Oakland and I'm glad that I got it again because I always think about it. So yeah, I got that. Then I, oops, ooch, 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 ooch. I also got this plant, which is an asparagus fern. And it's so cute, like she's so cute. So I just leave it here by the window. Then I got two ferns. This one is a made in here fern and I put it in the bathroom because these are like high humidity. And I also got a Boston fern and I'm super excited about them because they just Add a really cool vibe to the apartment. And then I got a Monstera. And I'm excited about it because it's it's just an easy plant to take care of. And then I also got another one, another Calathea, another lemon lime. And I'm very, very excited about this one. I found this at Lowe's. It was $15 because this is one of my favorite plants. And yeah, I think those are the... That's pretty much it in terms of the new plants that I got and yeah. <laughs> right now what I'm gonna do is work on putting a hook outside so that way I can hang up this beautiful pothos. All right. The way the video ended felt a little bit weird to me, so I just wanted to come back here and just say thank you for watching. I'm super excited to share my updates with you all, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.